Hi friends, today in math, we will be talking about pictographs. And I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. A pictograph is just a way to show information or data with pictures. And we put it in a chart so that you can see the information really quickly. So the first kind we're gonna look at is a pictograph with tally marks. And so I'm gonna show you my board and we're gonna get started. So I have drawn a chart here where we are going to talk about favorite ice cream. On one side, I have the flavors, and over here, I have a column for tally marks. So when we do a pictograph with tally marks, let's say I ask the whole class what their favorite ice cream was, and seven people chose chocolate. So tally marks, the way I show seven with tally marks, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, Every time you get to the five, you close that gate. Six, seven, and then I'll skip a space and start again. With vanilla, 11 students chose vanilla. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 11. And only three students chose strawberry. So tally marks are a great way if you're collecting information. Maybe you're going around and talking to people and you're only getting one answer at a time. You can mark it with a tally mark. And just remember, every time you get to that fifth one, you cross and close the gate and you start a new set. OK, so we can look quickly at this pictograph and see that seven chose chocolate, 11 chose vanilla and three chose strawberry. Let's do another kind of pictograph. Okay, here we have another pictograph and we have charted favorite snack. So this is a group of kids chose their favorite snack between pizza, tacos, popcorn, and donuts. Now it's always important to check your key on a pictograph. This key says each smiley face stands for one student. But sometimes you might have a pictograph where the smiley face stands for two or five, and so you would have to skip count when you were figuring it out. But this one, each smiley face stands for one student, and we can look and see that six students chose pizza as their favorite snack. Now, you might have a question like how many more students chose pizza than tacos? And because we have this in our pictograph, it's easy to see that two more students chose pizza than tacos because of how they line up. They're lined up all the way to here. You could also do six minus four and know that your answer was two. But when we have a pictograph, it's really easy to see quickly. So what did the fewest number of students choose as their favorite snack? We can see that that is popcorn because there are only two smiley faces in that row. And let me ask you another question. How many more students chose donuts than tacos? Just one. So now you are going to get to make your own pictograph. So this, when you come to this page in your seesaw, it will be blank and you will decide what you want to survey the people in your house about. I chose favorite chips, and I have put choices for Doritos, barbecue, sour cream and onion, and Cheetos. So now what I would do is I would go to each person in my house and I would ask them what they would choose. And let's say my daughter chose barbecue. I would move a star to put there and my second son chose sour cream and onion. And then my youngest son, he chose Cheetos. And I think my husband would probably choose sour cream and onion too. You can, you, you can include yourself in the survey. I'm gonna choose Doritos. And then those are all the people in my family, but then you can call other people. You might want to call your grandparents if they don't live with you. You could call aunts and uncles or friends and ask them and fill up your chart. So with every choice, you're going to move a star. Then on page two, you will have some questions to answer. 
which was chosen by the most people, which was chosen by the fewest people. What is the difference between the one with the most and the one with the least? And I want you to write your own question. So I hope you have fun with this. I want you to think about what you want to survey your family on. And then I can't wait to see what you choose.